Hey everybody, welcome to Back Issues I'm Sal. I'm Ethan. I'm Ben. So, okay, here's a rabbit hole I went down today. I was like, oh man, these guys are gonna love Daniel Warren Johnson's Beta Ray Bill. This book freaking slaps. It's sick and awesome and deserves an oversized edition. And I was like, but like, man, if I talk about Beta Ray Bill, I gotta like- lots of questions. Yeah, I gotta explain who Beta Ray Bill is. Like, I, I should probably do Walt Simonson's Beta Ray Bill. You know, the introduction to the character. But like, if I do that, then you're gonna need context for where Bill is, for, for that matter, where Thor is. And that's like all Donny Cates is about. But if I explain where Thor is, then I gotta explain like, what Thanos is up to in Thanos Wins by Donny Cates. Oh. And if I'm gonna explain Thanos Wins, I gotta explain Cosmic Ghost Rider. <laughs> so I'll just start with Thor. And if you guys like it, we'll do more of these. <laughs> but for now, we're just gonna do Donny Cates' Thor. Which is... Someone is swinging a hammer today. There will be a hammer swung <laughs> and epic shit is going to take place. And it'll be less bullshit to explain this because if I want to do Thor, I should probably explain War of the Realms, but I'm not gonna because that just sucks. And it's long and I don't want to bother. Okay. Fair. <laughs> so instead, we're just gonna talk about this Donny Cates era of Thor. Now, Jason Aaron took Thor and ran with him. Just like any writer who loves Thor or is assigned to Thor, Jason Aaron had like an epic multi-year run on Thor, did a lot of different stuff with him and her. And <laughs> Donny Cates is like, but I'm Donny Cates. And Donny Cates, the big thing Donny Cates likes to do is when he takes over character, he's like, uh, whatever the last guy did, throw that in the fucking garbage. <laughs> Get the Clean slate. fuck out of here. <laughs> Clean slate, big bad guy from space. I always do that. Even when okay. he did Silver Surfer, it was a big fucking thing. It came after him. It's like, all right. I was like, oh, I gotta explain Silver Surfer Black. We did that one. Yay! Oh! <laughs> Aha! And it's- You plan. It's wonderful. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like the MCU itself. It's an intricate <laughs> tapestry I've weaved from the beginning into the, to now. But uh, yeah, Silver Surfer Black is great. I got someone at home like tying strings together, yeah. connecting dots, being right? like, he's done this and that. This can be explained. Yeah. This is where it's all going. I love when we've done books that are like in succession, but years apart in the wrong order, and then have them go like, put that in a playlist. So this is The Devourer King with art by Nick Klein. Oh, that's a good name. Of course it is. It's Donny Cates, he's, <laughs> he's got names for all these gods, and it's all about gods, baby. Yeah. Gods. There's no yeah. excuse for having a bad name for a Thor book. Agreed, right? Like, if you're gonna do a Thor book, you better love telling epic yarns about gods and musing about death because gods can't die. Or can they? Or have they? Thor's died like 17 times. <laughs> And it's kind of the problem. Like, I remember when uh, Siege took place, or was it for uh, Fear Itself? <laughs> yeah, I remember when Fear Itself happened and they were like, the prophecy is Thor's gonna die. And I'm like, didn't he fucking die already? Like, no, 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 but happened. for reals this time, right. except not. And then he did, and then he came back like immediately. <laughs> and then they were like, oh no. And then like Siege, he had to die. And and, and uh, just J Jason Aaron's Thor, he had to die. Like, I'm like, yeah. enough. It's like a joke at this point. Right, it's it's just stupid. Yeah, but what if he loses an arm? That's right. super hard Ragnarok is just like, getting out of bed, just like, oh, is it time? Yeah. Oh, I'm not ready, oh, I have God. to shave yeah, and drink right? my coffee. Yeah. Oh, no, Another no, Ragnarok good. already? Okay. Did we just have one of these? Have, yeah, Marvel has had two Ragnaroks at least. <laughs> So here, here's something else. Here's a different thing. And thankfully, because it's Donny Cates, like you don't need any fucking con you need, it's a little bit of context. Like he lost his arm. Ah, they, they I kept, was wondering. So yeah, like, they oh, kept that arm shit recently. Going. Mjolnir was destroyed, but it's not. No, I'm, people are gonna be like, oh, what about the, you got to talk about James was Foster? It, was it not destroyed, or did it, has yeah, it been remade? It. Okay. Nah, it wasn't like remade like the shards of Narsil, but like you know, <laughs> okay. it's it's bad. Where they grabbed all the pieces of the hammer and uh, reforged it. Actually, well, yeah, I mean, it they did do like bad, but. Yeah, well, all right. Yeah, but it's so also it's completely like different. Well, not in the same, it didn't feel as good. Uh -oh. Like, it wasn't as exciting as, like, when, you know. <laughs> that scene was awesome. That was pretty sweet. Yeah. Yeah, they're sprinkling sparkly shit on it. Yeah. yeah you've been waiting three movies for it, so, Right, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Even though I think they forged it, like, in the beginning of the Fellowship in the book. You're like, here, by yeah. the way. Yeah, yeah. You might want to take this on your journey. Yeah, no, he had it the whole time, I think. Had the whole time. Yeah, you know, like when they go to Thaden's Hall, he's maybe, like, maybe they have to give up their weapons. He's like, by the way, this is, this is, this is the reforged blade from the shards of Nars. So if you fucking break it, you bought it. <laughs> Odin retired. 
Like, whoa, whoa, God's don't retired retire. from yeah. what? Well, his from life. Job? Like he's paid? Nah, he's just he just left. He fucked off. <laughs> Basically, after all the times we killed and resurrected Thor, how about we just make? Th we have no more ideas for Thor. We did this ha this massive multi-year story arc where like there's Thor and then there's Jane Foster Thor and Odinson and you know what? Fuck it. Like if we're just gonna make Jane Foster somebody else after all that and we're gonna make Odinson become Thor again. You know, how many times can we have Thor like join the Avengers or wear a big red cape? And it's like, Jason Aaron's like, oh, at least one more. <laughs> because that's my run on Avengers. But like, why don't we make him the Allfather? So like, Thor is the Allfather of Asgard. And like, he's not gonna push his dad out no. to take over the throne. Well, I mean, sometimes they fight and sometimes like Odin's like a huge piece of shit. But like in this case, <laughs> Odin is out, and Thor is the new hotness of Asgard. He's okay. the all father. He's got the crows. He's got, he's, he's oh, that's he's got how you it all. Know it's for reals. Yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah, when the crows leave Odin, yeah, then you know like shit is going down. It's going down in Asgard, big time. Thor is now all father of, of of Asgard, and he's forged a new throne into the world tree. It's not Odin's throne. I don't want to sit in Odin's throne. I never wanted Odin's throne. So you know how many farts are in that throne, right? Like it's, it's Odin like a has millennia. been there for for yeah. countless eons. Exactly, it's just gross. Well, and not only that, but like all he drinks is mead. It's like gross. he's already gotten his butt seat into the stone. Yeah, I'm gonna have to work a long time to like to not like, sit in my dad's crack. That's right. That's right. You gotta you gotta forge your own path. <laughs> and throne. That's right. So he did, and he's sitting in that. Like, because Loki comes up and he's like, how does it feel to be sitting on Father's throne? He's like, I'm sitting in my throne, Loki. He's like, yeah, you fucking have all the job. They're calling you all father. Like, yeah. it's the same fucking yeah, thing. Yeah, I meant like metaphorically. metaphorically. Jeez. Right. Not like literally, how does it feel to sit there? <laughs> this guy, dig it till the difference between thrones. <laughs> yeah. This is totally a different Who's throne. It's a totally Loki? different location of the palace, you fucking idiot. So anyway, uh, Thor is showing off that he's in charge. So he whips Mjolnir through all the nine realms. Just and turns it into a <laughs> cat. Yeah. Well, it's it's using the Bifrost. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly what it is. It's Nyancatic because it's like shitting rainbows because it's... Oh, also Heimdall's no longer in charge of, uh, you know, oh. seeing everything. Now, Lady Sif is because, like, what the fuck am I going to do with Lady Sif? How about she's... Yeah. She was in a movie what recently. What Did he, like, retire like, oh, with Lady Odin? I think he retired from life. But uh, <laughs> in this case... Yeah, so those are the new jobs. You know, like Lady Sif. How about you're in charge of watching all the realms? Yeah. You'll be so busy, you won't have time to come yeah, after we... me, and I'll be able to bang a bevy of babes. That's right. I'm going to have a whole harem because I'm in charge now. I haven't been in Asgard long enough for all the babes to come to me yet. So anyway, he's, he's, he's advertising that he's in charge by like whipping Mjolnir through the Nine Realms. It goes through Midgard. Uh, the Avengers are fighting some nameless monster from underneath the ground, and it just... Just, just headshots this fucking monster. <laughs> and it lands in the middle of the, the party. Just Thor, like from across the room, yell, no scope, <laughs> no scope headshot. He, I mean, he, he clearly did. Uh, but Milner lands and Iron Man's like, does anybody have a Sharpie? So then <laughs> Milner returns to Thor and he gets it. And on Milner is scribed, nice shot, enjoy your retirement. Because the Avengers all teamed up with Thor right. during War of the Realms. So they all know that he's like up in heaven or really actually Asgard, because it's not really heaven. Okay, right. but like, that's not really retirement. Well, yeah, he he's just retiring killed a monster, from, he's he, working. Yeah, but he's retiring okay. from being a superhero on the Avengers. I like, see. He is no longer He's retired like, from the Avengers. Yes, he's no longer a hero of Medgard. Now he's like in charge. It's like it's like going from like, you know, the mail room all the way up to management. Right, that's usually called retirement. Yeah, it's you not working get, anymore, I guess. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Good Bridget, point. If yeah. he's if he's on the throne whipping hammers yeah. and killing beings from his spot, it's not really work at that point. Maybe it's like being um, appointed as president of a university. There we go. You can do that at do any age. You're just yeah. a figurehead. Right. You just raise you just money. Collect them. You, you just collect actually... a huge paycheck. Yep. You show up. Yeah, yep. that's all you got to do. No, this guy has shit to do. Oh. <laughs> By the way, Thor did lose an eye. Oh, okay. Ah. <laughs> so he's like, yeah, I'm in charge now, baby. That's it. And it's just, okay. Right? Ooh, a lot of work to do. So. <laughs> Is this sad Boba Fett? <laughs> yeah, kinda. I mean, now Boba Fett. I kinda, yeah. They both are aimless and have like no clear goals. <laughs> Although with Boba Fett, at least they establish it. In this one, it'd be like if Boba Fett like had a vague goal and then someone showed up and di distracted him from that goal pretty much for the rest of his story. <laughs> In this case, it's just, Thor's here, he's like, I guess I'm in charge. Volstagg goes to him, he's like, he's, he's basically trying to ask his like bro 
to make sure to approve more beer for the big <laughs> you're in charge party than is required. And Thor's like, dude, I got fucking no time for you, man. Like, don't fuck with me. We're not friends anymore. I'm in charge. I'm your boss now. I'm sorry. Right. We used to bro it up, but now I'm, I'm your, uh, you know. So was that a yes or right. a no on the beer? What? Oh, Volstagg so basically the just, question. Well, Volstagg <laughs> tells his minions, like, err on the side of caution. Order okay. a lot more beer. Okay. <laughs> so uh, Loki appears from out of the shadows, and he's like, eh, heavy is the head that wears the crown, right? All the cliches. Yeah. <laughs> And also, out of all of this, um, Loki ended up inheriting uh, Jotunheim. Hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So he's in charge over there. So now you got both brothers, no Odin, and they're each the leader of their respective realm. Okay. Se seemingly, they should be all cool and chill. But isn't Jotunheim one of the realms? It is one of the realms. That... So yes, Allfather is in charge okay. of it. But like, yeah, but he's in charge of his his like lower hill. I see. You know, it's like I'm not giving you Midgard because no. I know you're gonna screw with him. But you can have Jotunheim. Right. It's your birthright anyway. Exactly. You're welcome. Right. Thor is kind of worried about a speech he has to give because it's the first time he has to give a speech as a leader as opposed to like, yeah, we're going to kick ass and take names. And everyone's like, woo! And he's like, yeah, that, that's a speech. In this case, it's like, oh shit, I got to like inspire people and like make them feel like they can trust me and to lead them. And not just be on the front lines. Yeah, like I'm going to have to tell people to like go do things that are going to kill them. And they're going to have to like believe that it was the right thing to do. So he reaches for Mjolnir and he's like, yeah, it's a little heavier. Oh. It's not lost on Loki. He's like, it's a little heavier. Mm. So then Thor just whips Mjolnir at Loki's head and huh. it stops right before his face. And Loki's like, I didn't know you could do that. And he's like, your old father position has a lot of different new perks. Like I can make Mjolnir stop on a dime in your face. Now don't fuck with me anymore. <laughs> All right, I gotta go. So uh, he goes before his uh, many loyal subjects. He goes out onto the, you know, onto the balcony, onto the, the whatever they call it, yeah. Carap the, the parapet. He's about to give a speech, and he's like, <gasps> and then right before <laughs> he's about to give his speech, one of the raven shits on him. Yeah, and he's like, oh, and they all just laugh. <laughs> no, instead, oh, my first degree. Yeah, instead, Galactus drops out of the fucking sky and crushes most people there. Oh my god. What? Yeah, just falls out of the fucking sky and lands on everybody. It's pandemonium, everyone's screaming, there's blood in people's mouths, it's a complete disaster. Thor immediately jumps into hero mode, whips up Mjolnir, strikes the lightning down, hits Galactus. Galactus is clearly hurt. Yeah. But he was hurt before. What Thor didn't notice was that Galactus was already trashed, and he <laughs> came here of his own volition, like right. not as, as an aggressor, yeah. Right. That's, and he's I, like- You'd kind of like assume that, because he didn't like, Stomp on people no, he upright. Just he just fell, fell on them. The, like, like he like, slipped like out of a banana peel. Okay, even Galactus trips once in a while. Does he though? I mean, like if you're an elder being of the universe yeah. and you're older than dirt, you should probably know how to watch your fucking step. Right. Uh, I'm guaranteeing you that there's someone out there who is like 85 years old that still bites their tongue when they chew once in a while. Yeah, like, well, that's true. I'm about to die. I'm, <laughs> I've eaten my entire yeah. life. <laughs> yeah, I've eaten a thousand meals a thousand times and I'm still biting my tongue by accident. Yeah, all right. Well, he doesn't slip. Instead, it, it was what I just said. So he falls and he's like, please, Thor, you're the only one who's gonna help. The Star Plague, the Great Black Winter has come. Black Winter, like the King of Black, Black, whatever. It's all evil stuff from space. Watch out for the Black Winter, new King of Black. Although I'm doing King of Black too, but like I'm reading Venom on sale now, check it out. <laughs> but uh, the Black Winter has come. Oh. Oh no. Oh no, and- and, and, uh, it, and it got Galactus. Yeah, and it got Galactus. It's like, oh man, how can I show you how serious and cool <laughs> and badass the Black Winter is? I know, I'll trash Galactus. Galactus hasn't had like a fucking second to be Galactus in forever. <laughs> Al Ewing made him the life bringer. He's all gold and making people happy and shit. And then they immediately made him back to Galactus. And then he's trashed by this new thing because Donny Cates is right in Thor. <laughs> Black Winter though. Put that bitch on his ass. That's right, Black Winter. On sale now, check it out. Like. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, meanwhile, Volstagg notices that the world tree is dying. <gasps> oh no. Yeah. Must be that Black Winter thing. Right? Could or be. it could be the fact that like Thor carved a seat into it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what the hell, man? Maybe you should have called a fucking botanist before you <laughs> yeah. or arborist, oh, I guess. the god of plants? <laughs> What's the Norse god of plants? I don't know. It. Someone in the comments already told me. Thor convenes a council. He calls up basically every herald of Galactus that's alive or kicking around the universe. <laughs> So everybody's sitting there. And he's like, all right, Galactus is here. His, his shit is trashed. Black Winter, what is it? Somebody want to tell me? 
I love Cosmic Ghost Rider just sitting at that table. I know. <laughs> just this, this this silly action figure sitting with all these other characters. Yeah, I don't recognize like any any of those guys. I feel Is like Silver Surfer even in there. Seen or? Yeah, we've seen actually a few of these thanks to like many episodes of the show. But uh, as a matter of fact, uh, Alpha Ray here was yeah, was he technically legal? Have many Galactus? I'm sorry. Alpha Ray! Yeah, he was the original, well, before Beta Ray, there was Alpha Ray. Is there a Gamma Ray? There was an Omega Ray. <laughs> they skipped right to Omega Ray. But no, Alpha Ray came first, and you'd know that if, if we did <laughs> this. <laughs> but we had to do this first. <laughs> Listen, you want to see this? You want to know more about Alpha Ray? He's not really in this. We'll talk about it later <laughs> when we talk about Beta Ray. Because you can't know shit about it, Beta Ray, without Alpha Ray. Anyway, so he's there. Uh, but he doesn't offer any information. And he's just like, so tell me more. And they're like, eh, we, we don't really know. And then Silver Surfer shows up. And Silver ah. Surfer is black because everything in Donny Cates' books is black. But like also because in Silver Surfer Black, uh, he gets corrupted in the past. And he uh, has like a symbiote. Or whatever, and so he's like all he's all dark. Right. But if you're reading this, he's, like, al he's also kind of iridescent though, like a crow's feather. Is, yeah, yeah, uh, that's true. Yeah, he uh, looks like a grackle or an or oil grackle, slick. Yeah, or yeah an he oil does. Slick, well, because yeah. he's corrupted. You know, it's like it, it's cool. Yeah, like, not corrupted, but he's like he's he's, he's changed. He's changed. Mm. Yeah. But don't worry, King and Black will fix that. But uh, he shows up and he's like, I know what it is. Like, I'm aware of what like the the Black Winter is. I know everything. In fact, like the Black Winter, like okay, so Galen came from like a previous reality that got destroyed. <laughs> And like the idea was that like Galen Galactus, his original name, his, his born given name, he <laughs> survives the Big Bang of like this universe and arrived from that from one universe into this universe. So yeah, he's like okay. older than our universe. Right. Uh, actually, <laughs> actually. Oh, but not in the re in the retcon that Donny Cates is establishing right now. The Black Winter is the Galactus of universes. <laughs> Okay. What? It, yeah, it, he eats eat universes. universes. Okay. Yeah. Like and Galactus eats planets. So you see how Galactus, you thought he was pretty scary and cool, <laughs> but like, actually, Black He's Winter's in evil. the universe, and so something that eats universes would beat him. Yeah. How, how do you even see something that eats a universe? Well, I'll tell you why. He takes the form of that which will like kill you or frightens you the most. Oh, it's Gozer? Yeah. Yeah. But like, you know, bigger and scarier. Right. So if he eats the universe, he... Well, that's he, that. Is he like inside the universe or is he like outside <laughs> of it? Like, yeah, do you, do you, do you go inside it. with a straw? I mean, he it's not like he's, you know... How he, can you go outside the universe to fight him? You could ask Jim Starlin about that. They do that like fucking every other Tuesday. <laughs> but in this case, I guess like when he consumes it, like another universe presents itself or like whatever is out there in the multiverse, he can see it and, and operate between them. They, they don't really explain it. Okay. Because Donny Case doesn't give a shit about that. He's telling, right. he's, he's weaving mythologies. Right. You know, just, but isn't it dope? Uh, right, at this moment, I would say no. Bigger than Galactus. No, but bigger than Galactus though. Whoa. What? I made Venom cool again. So, You're welcome. So, so it kicked the shit out of Gal Galactus, what, as part of eating the universe or just just No, cause? no. Oh. It, oh, because the, because the Black Winter has found this universe. It found where Galen went. Oh, and it, and it attacked him or whatever. Yeah. Like, why is the universe not already eaten? Right, good question. <laughs> so <laughs> Why so did it stop? Uh, because Winter we need to fight him at the end of the Galactus's Galactus' okay. universe. Yeah. And oh, then and Galactus followed him escaped here from it? or was just like... Yeah. Uh, well, that's the implication. Yeah. Okay. All right. So Silver Surfer talks about how there's five planets in our galaxy that have energy within them that if Galactus eats all of them will make him super powerful and able to fight the Black Winter. <laughs> I can already feel you <laughs> pulling away from this episode. <laughs> you just have to sacrifice these five planets. That's right. Yeah. Well, and uh. Silver Surfer deliberately hid the location and knowledge of those planets from Galactus the whole time, so the Galactus could not become as powerful as he needs so to be to fight the Black Winter. Yeah. Like Super Saiyan yeah. Galactus. That's right. Right. I always okay. knew that one day we would have to turn to the thing which we fear the most to save us. Well, in this case, yes. But in the, so before Thor, he, just, he okay. just was like, "Well, I know the Black Winter is there. He's in his he's in his other reality, and he he won't ever come here." So were these planets like they were like created? No, they don't even talk about. Oh, okay, it. not bother. like why there's five planets that well, if when their powers are consumed by they don't. Galactus, yeah, one is okay. fire, they, one is earth, <laughs> one's, one's water, air, water, and heart. And yeah. Heart. They, yeah. Okay, so they don't 
explain it like why each of those planets like in unison work they do explain how they retain I think Kate explains how some of those planets have their energies. Like okay. one of them is like an uninhabited world that like a bunch of sorcerers all lived on and they're like decaying spells soaked into the earth itself and oh. so like it, it, that created the energies that Galactus will need in the, the <sighs> Okay. So yeah. it's not like the universe was like designed from the start four. with these five no. at the beginning. Oh, it, it's like knew. it no. just so happened that the way things went, yes. these five planets when consumed. It could have been eight planets, it could have been three. Precisely. It, Happened to be it five. It happened to be five, and if he eats okay. all five, and he, no, thou, thou shalt eat <laughs> only five. Six is right out. And how does he <laughs> know we this? What? How does he know? Because he was there. Because he was Silver Surfer. It, they don't explain it. Oh, okay. Why wouldn't Galactus? Know? Why would Silver Surfer know that, but Galactus doesn't? Great question. Okay. Silver Surfer, because uh, he's maybe, smarter, I guess. Or uh, here's the thing, like you know, Galactus, Galactus is like very focused on even planets. Right. Can't, like, I mean, Galactus <laughs> gives the power cosmic. So how does someone who is given cosmic power from Galactus able to fight Galactus? Because it would stand to reason Galactus has more power right. than the power he's able to imbue into other people. Yet that happens anyway. <laughs> so like, mm -hmm. how is it that Silver Surfer can know knowledge that Galactus himself should be the only one to have in his own head? Eh. Okay. Power cosmic. That's usually my explanation. All right, right. Okay. So, they're not going to get Reed in the ultimate nullifier in this round. They're not. Okay, no, good. No nullifier. Good. That'd be kind of cool. Because it's supposed to—it's it's, just—it's supposed to destroy reality. Like everything. It'd be really cool yeah. if they set like a timer on it and threw it in his mouth. Yeah, It'd be but, way cooler than what happens in this. Yeah, but if it can eat a whole universe, maybe it'd just be like, well, you just destroyed that universe I was right. going to eat, which sucks, but I'll just I'll just go get another no, one. No, but you consumed it, so it's like you are a... It, it's, if you are able to eat a universe, you are in and of itself like a universe. So like, it would stand to reason, I would think, that the ultimate nullifier, since it's a magic box that does whatever you want, uh, would destroy him. The problem with that, of course, the reason why we don't use the ultimate nullifier is because that's old Jack Kirby Stanley bullshit. Yeah, how dare we? I'm fucking Donny Cates. I'm making new shit. A first new of all, hotness. first of all, the ultimate nullifier doesn't have any. The black black does not appear in the word ultimate nullifier at all. <laughs> so why would I ever use it? So why would so I give fucking a shit use about that? that? Okay. And uh, cool. secondly, that's it. I only have the one. So you know, Thor <laughs> is alone. He's a uh, you know, he's in his room, he's like thinking about, contemplating his mm. his lot, you know, do I dare, because the, the Herald's like, we're gonna go, and then like, uh, Thor's like, I'm coming with you, because earlier he and Sif were talking, and she was like, you're not going on any more adventures, you gotta sit in that chair, and you gotta make sure everything else happens, and he's like, mm, yeah. so, <laughs> I didn't sign up for this. You know? Yeah, but look, this is pretty serious, this is, a, a universe eater it's Galactus. That. Tell you what, like and he fell thing. right in my doorstep. So you yeah. get someone to fertilize my tree and get this black shit out of it. <laughs> right, he doesn't even know about the dying world tree. And people, like, he calls them on his crows and they're like, hey man, <laughs> right before he gets, he hangs up on them before they can tell him about the tree. So, you know, he, he's this like. picture of like just grabbing a crow <laughs> and like, talking to it. <laughs> Slap, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Look, I'm not a fan of this either, but this is how this works. <laughs> this is how it goes. You could have been the other one, the hell that had to fly across the friggin' reality itself to get to Asgard. <laughs> uh, Thor takes his Mjolnir and he looks at like the enjoy retirement. He erases that part. Mm. I'm not. I'm not retired. I'm not retired. I'm back in action. Silver Surfer goes to Galactus. He's like, "Hey, man, I hid the planets from you." Galactus breaks the fourth wall and goes like, I don't know how it's possible that Silver Surfer could have possibly <laughs> brought that from my mind. I'm impressed you were able to do it. That's it. So I'm not mad. I'm just I'm actually impressed. I'm, I'm rather yeah. impressed. Yeah. Does Galactus desire to be more powerful? Is that like no. a trait of his? So no. Like, what you, no. He what was he even keeping from him? Well, Galactus is maybe the only being in this reality that could fight the Black Winter, and he got his arm torn off. I see. So, so he's so, like, if you told me sooner, I'm sorry. I would have already eaten them, and then I could have beaten he the. He got Black his arm maybe. torn off from the Black Winter. Yeah, Black Winter like. So ate it's his arm. like <laughs> here. <laughs> yeah, it's tore here. Tore off his arm, so that's how you know it's really serious. That's right. That's right. When you're talking about gods and metaphysical beings that like are embodiments of like causality in the universe, it's dope if their arm gets ripped off because that's how that's how it shows how super serial it is in comic books. There's actually like a trope in comics about like arm loss. Like <laughs> yeah, look at, look at Thor. Thor yep. Everyone loses an arm or a yep. hand, but it has to be. It's, that's how, it's it's just this. It's this shorthand that shows how serious situation is. Whoa. We maimed this character. Yeah. You will never get that. There's trend. no I coming mean, back from yeah. this. Yeah, if we were not, unless we're growing arms. Yes. Oh, we basically have magic Spoilers, technology. Spoilers, we, we do definitely that. Can't yeah, do that. all of them got their arms back. Every single one of the characters <laughs> who ever lost their arms got them back. Hell, Peter got four extra ones. That's right. Yeah, <laughs> he, he's like here. So 
uh, Galactus explains that like when you look at the Black Winter, you know, it's like Galactus himself. Like when you certain civilizations see Galactus, they see like you know the devil of their like religion, mm -hmm. like the Corbinites themselves. Uh, Beta Ray Bill tying it into Beta Ray Bill. Mm. The Corbinites when they see Galactus, like they have like a religion and like the devil that comes. It's actually, it's actually fun. It's like this amorphous being that's like purple. It has like kind of the, the, the shape of his helmet. Yeah. I remember seeing it for the first time, and being like, that looks a lot like Galactus. And it's like no, that's just what they see when they <laughs> see Galactus. And it's like Galactus, is like I didn't get that alone. I mean, Black Winter does that too, but more cool because like. I'm purple and stupid looking, but he's like anything that Donny Cates wants uh, Klein to draw. So instead, uh, when you see the Black Winter, you see your death. Oh. Like what will kill you? So when Galactus first saw the Black Winter, when like he was sent through the, you know, the, the Big Bang and became from went from Galen to Galactus, he just saw like a black hole. Because technically, like, he died. You know, Galen was dead and Galactus remained. But when he saw the Black Winter again, he saw Thor. Oh, Thor's Thor going to kill him? Oh. Yeah. And so I'm bringing Thor with me, and Thor isn't powerful enough, despite the fact that he's a god and he's super powerful and able to, like, kick my ass with lightning and shit. He's not powerful enough to, with, to, to, to go through this trial of getting these planets and making me more powerful and fighting the Black Winter. So I will imbue him with power cosmic and make him my herald, the herald of thunder. So he imbues Thor with the power cosmic and Thor grows a new arm, boom, he's fixed. Oh. And, his, and a new eye, boom, he's fixed. <laughs> so Thor is now the herald of thunder. Is he no longer the ruler of Asgard? Oh no, he is. That's just I, yeah. I that it's this but and also, yeah. And also. Well, and right now like yes, he is the ruler of Asgard, but he's not ruling it right now, so he's like on sabbatical. He's like I'll be right back. Right. He's left it in the care of of like whoever. other people. He literally yeah. doesn't pick anybody to watch it right. for him. But they have to call him when shit gets real. That's Mom. Right. That's right. Mom. <laughs> What yeah. is it, honey? Hey, Freya, can you just watch the planet and watch our <laughs> reality for me? So then uh, we show you how cool and badass and scary the Black Winter is. Like, let's take a look at a reality. Okay. This is a reality where, like, you know, this. why, why do they call him the Black Winter anyway? Well, like, snow, black snow falls on this planet, mm. on this Earth, this reality with these people. And it just eats away at everything. Oh. This this reality... And it does that on every planet everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, and that's maybe why it takes so long. But, like, <laughs> on this planet, you know, there's a there's there's a really distinct-looking newspaper publishing house <laughs> and a few <laughs> champions of that reality, uh, uh, gods, if you will, uh, go to meet the Black Winter. Mm. A sun god, an emerald light god, uh, a god of dark, perhaps. Maybe he's not a god. Maybe he's just a guy, but he's just trying his best. Uh, a god of the ocean, of speed, of strength, and they go and they all die. The DC universe is destroyed by the Black Winter because oh. that's how cool the Black Winter is. <laughs> even the DC universe couldn't withstand the Black Whoa. fucking Winter. Even Superman couldn't okay, stop it. Even Superman. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And it's like, I remember this happening and <laughs> I, I, was, I was not immune to the discussion that happened online. People were like, they just... They just killed the DC universe in the Marvel universe. Like they just destroyed the DC universe. Well, they killed a DC universe. Right. There's a well, multiverse, I mean, so there could it's be not like the DC universe. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. This These is are just a potential right uh, version of version those characters. Things yeah. that could be. Yeah. And and they're saying, but the, the, if you think that looks like Superman, yeah, yeah. And that's the Daily Planet. That's the passing resemblance. That's, that's yeah. on you. This is the DC universe that was eaten by the, the Black Winter. The Black Winter. Yeah. There's another DC universe and that's in the, one you're the multiverse every day. that was not. Right. Oh no, there's a, there's at least a few because yeah. uh, but but I remember that this page being released and people being like, are they gonna do another crossover? Because like uh, they put them in there and it's like no, no, they do this all the time. They do They're it all constantly the time. They're referencing it. yes. each other as like, oh, is that it? Well, yeah. it could be maybe the, if you want. On the multiverse map in the DC universe, there's at least two Earths that are just making fun of the Marvel <laughs> universe. Two established. <laughs> this one doesn't even have a fucking numerical designation. As he's like tightening his grip around this the reality, snow appears, the snow appears. It's like a kind of like planets. affectation yeah. of it, but uh, yeah, so that's done. Okay. So uh, they arrive at Eclipse, a new planet, one of the five that they need to eat. Yeah. And uh, they arrive, and there's like this sentient race of like beharried oh. monkey faced uh -oh. people. And uh, Galactus is like, all right, stop number one. Uh -huh. <laughs> and Thor's like, whoa, 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 motherfucker. <laughs> like, we're not going to start eating, okay? I got to get these people the fuck out of here. So, like, Thor lands and immediately, like, <laughs> throws his souped-up Mjolnir at Galactus' hand and, like, blasts a hole in it. Like, Thor does not miss an opportunity to, like, 
rip a piece off of Galactus at every turn. Yeah, he rips two fingers off. Now yeah. he knows that, like, oh, he lost an arm. Oh, I guess he's vulnerable. I can rip his fucking fingers well, off. Well, especially now that I got the power fucking cosmic. Like, let's do this. And Galactus, Galactus is like, like uh, what are you doing, I man? I don't think you know how this works. This is how you repay me? He's like, no, we got to get these people off this planet so that you can take the energy you need and then we'll put them back on the planet. Dude, I've killed, like, trillions of people. Why are you bothering to save these, so like, that. few Galactus million? Galactus isn't even asking. He's just like... The fuck? Like, you know who I am. <laughs> I don't think you understand. I'm gonna get the energy from this planet. Mm -hmm. There's not gonna be a planet anymore. Right. There ain't got nothing to come back Th to. Thor is ever the optimist in this situation, <laughs> but you are absolutely right. Like, he he whips Mjolnir through Galactus' shin. Oh. So he's like, Argh! and then he gets hit in the head with a rock. And it's like the indigenous people just see Thor and they just assume he's, an, he's, a, he's a malefactor. So they're like, uh. let's get him. He's like, I'm trying to save you, you fucking idiots. Oh, what the fuck? He just starts killing him. Yeah. <laughs> I got a taste. You know what? I don't even want to. I'm not even saving your plan. You, know what? you know what? Have at him. Let's do it. Go ahead. No, he does not do that. Instead, <laughs> he whips uh, his his crows out into the ether to contact Sif and basically tell her to summon the Bifrost and like move all the people on this planet to Asgard, where they'll be like held, you know, in a in a camp, so to speak. Uh, a, a I, got, I got a thing for you. It's called a zoo. Camp. Yeah. A refugee camp where they will be waiting until their planet's fixed. And so Until it's does fixed? That. It's getting fucking eaten. No, no, no. What? He's, he's just taking the energy. Oh, he just has to suck the energy out. It's very destructive. They can't be there while that's happening. That's right. But so then they go back. That, yeah, that's the plan. So yeah. uh, there's actually a fun scene where, like, Falstock <laughs> is like, take, okay, uh, everyone form a uh, neat, orderly line, please. Uh, name. And they're like, ah! <laughs> uh, so, uh, <laughs> the, uh, I like the idea that, like, Galactus is like, <sighs> sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They can come back when I'm done. That's good. Yeah. Okay. If whatever does it for you. 100% that. Yeah. So, you know, Hugh and, Hugh and Moomin are like, hey, Vostok, it's me, Thor. I'm talking to the crows. And Vostok's like, I don't think Odin did that. He's like, nope, I got new powers. It's cool. <laughs> so he's like, oh, the really what tree. the crows like, did. God, make sure. They're like, you know. Anyway, mm -hmm. bye. Mm -hmm. So uh, everything gets wrecked and destroyed. And then the planet blows up. And like, you know, Galactus is like, you know, he's edging himself. And then he's like, oh, I can't. Tipped over the scales. More. And the whole planet gets destroyed. Like, you know, it's just, yeah. <laughs> and, and Thor's oh, like, Thor's like, no. Whoa. Yeah. And Galactus hey, is like. You're not supposed to destroy it. Right? And Galactus oh, is like, Galactus you know, gets his arm back. Yeah. He grows back. Well, because he's, he's, he, 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 he eight. his yeah. body is like for our benefit. He's mostly just right. energy. But yeah. yeah, he's like, you didn't have to break it. And he's like, what a fucking idiot. Shut the fuck oh, up, my Thor. God. So then he gets attacked. What was the last time I sucked the energy out of a planet and it didn't, didn't blow destroy up. it? Like, give me a break. Ever? Has that Never. ever yeah. happened? Do we have much interaction, actually, now that I think about it? Do you know who I am? You know, if Richards had come, <laughs> we would have solved this problem. Let me go get fucking Reed Richards. That guy has some fucking balls. <laughs> you should have called him. <laughs> should have just called Richards, but it's a Thor book. It wouldn't have it wouldn't have worked. So they get attacked. Boom, 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 boom. Oh no, Galactus is under siege. He just got his powers, and then boom, he gets hit. And it, so does Thor. Oh. Thor turns around. Who's attacking him? It's Beta Ray Bill. Oh. You see? Yeah. 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 Beta Ray Bill's there with so Scuttlebutt. What the fuck? You, you destroying plants with Galactus now, Thor? That's it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so Beta... you say Scuttlebutt? Scuttlebutt is his sentient ship that the Corbinites gave to him to help him in his quest to save their race. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> A, love the name for the ship. <laughs> B, yep. I love the fact that it's sentient. Yeah, me too. Uh, Scuttlebutt's <laughs> great. It's a big, ridiculous battleship yeah. in space with these gigantic guns. Yeah, it's, it's fucking awesome. It's, dude, you, you don't know the half of it, man. When we do Beta Ray Bill, either of them, you will see some serious shit when it comes nice. to Scuttlebutt. But Beta Ray Bill's there and he's like, yeah. Remember, he's got the Stormbreaker. Right. That's like, and it's, okay, so I gotta explain a little bit about Beta Ray Bill, uh, even though we could do a whole book. Uh, but Beta Ray Bill, uh, more or less, the short version is, uh, he is worthy of Mjolnir, and he wants it, and Odin's like, no, it's my son's, you can't have it. But I'll tell you what, we'll have Eitri make you another one. Yeah, you can have a different hammer. Yes, and so he makes him Stormbreaker, and Stormbreaker is Beta Ray Bill's Mjolnir. Uh, also, it's enchanted with uh, Odin force, and so, it, it, because, okay, so like Bill, <laughs> Bill is like a Corbinite, but like, he was he, he passed these trials and he like fought his way to become worthy of being the beta ray of their species to protect them because their planet's gonna get destroyed by their like devil who is Galactus so it's all connected. Oh, okay. uh, but Galactus is gonna eat their planet and they, uh, they, they they so they leave they get on a ship and they send like a, a couple life rafts out there and Bill is their like champion that'll protect them and uh, so you know. But but in the process of becoming the champion, he got like 
basically like a fucked up new body that's that, that makes him look like a horse monster. But like the wait, Corbin, wait, the yeah, Corbinites no. don't look the like the Corbinites that do not look like horses. The Corbinites look like yellow, no nosed humans. Oh, I feel like we talked about this one. We time. talked about it a little bit, but we don't really get into it. But okay. like, yeah, the Corbinites are just yellow humanoids with so, no noses, and it's through the process of of getting the beta ray that he looks like this fucked up horse monster. And in fact, the Corbinites can't stand to look at him. He's so gross looking. They hate That's him. That's our champion? Ugh. Well, they're like, we thank you, thank you, Bill. We, we love you, but just don't look right at me. So Earth is like horrifying to them because it's just filled with all these fucking horses that well, are just hideous. And they ride them. And they, <laughs> they brush their manes? No, no, you, you fixed the problem. You made centaurs. Right. <laughs> The beautiful horse body is there, but it's not this disgusting face. It's yeah. this human part on top. So like, so it's wonderful merging. So, so like an 1870s like U.S. cavalry could defeat the Corbinites because they'd just be terrified. Be, ah, oh my God, they're riding yeah. them. <laughs> yeah. Well, also they'd be like, oh my God, you have like hundreds of cybernetically enhanced, genetically modified champions that are as powerful as our beta ray. And you use those as mounts? <laughs> yeah. I can't even imagine how powerful the people on top of them are. Exactly. So anyway, Odin enchants Stormbreaker so that when he like uses it, uh, or, or, or yeah, when he he can use Stormbreaker to return back to his Corbinite form. Oh. So he's just not quite so he as gross. Freak looking. people it out. As freak much. people out. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so also he could like bang people because without them throwing up. Uh, <laughs> so <laughs> that's what that's it's like the, the most important part. It's, yeah. it's really For important. Him, yeah. It's like the impetus behind the Daniel Warren Johnson series. Yeah. <laughs> so please. Please turn me back. No one will fuck me. <laughs> it's literally it. The whole, uh, he goes on a fucking adventure and it's all because you. he needs to get laid. <laughs> there's like there's like a whole sect of humans. Yeah, that, that are into it. You. Yeah, dude, yeah, but they they're fragile. <laughs> so they have a strong bond, these two brothers. <laughs> yeah, you want it's nobody here. Old brothers. Bill thinks that basically what happened was Galactus showed up in Asgard and took over Thor. And is going on this mad oh, quest to destroy planets. So right. he's like, Thor, my oath brother, like, I am here to beat the shit out of you and break this enchantment that this unholy <laughs> monster that destroyed by people has you under. You'll thank me when this is over. Exactly. So they like fight a little bit and then uh, basically Thor like says, look at me brother, I am completely within my faculties. It's all me. Yep, I and just went evil. No, I mean, I'm just, no, it's more complicated. No, it's, it's <laughs> just, I- We it's, just need him. It's just, I'm in this situation where I could easily explain myself, but I won't. Yeah. But also, I'm Bill, Thor. I don't explain myself. Device. I use hammers. That's basically what it is. Like, yeah. Thor is like, yeah, well, I'm easing into the role of Allfather, and Allfather doesn't have to fucking explain himself. Right, he just kicks ass. Like, you listen to me. You're, you want to be a subject of Asgard, you fucking listen to me. I'm in charge. So, like, I'm here with Galactus tooling around the galaxy, fucking blowing up planets, okay? If your business was why? here, would you act like that to like, him? How dare you ask me? So like that's and, and so Bill's like, okay, brother, I'll kick the shit out of you. Let's do this. And then like, you know, Galactus is like, I don't have fucking time for this. So he blasts them and Thor's like, no, no, don't hurt him. He's dope. And while he's yelling at <laughs> he's cool. Daniel Warren John's gonna draw a really cool series about this. Yeah, he's like, like, I don't fucking care how cool he is. What are you talking about? We're trying to save the goddamn universe. What's the problem? Also, I'm still hungry. While he's this yelling guy's an at ant. Him. I've killed like millions of these guys. Yeah, like I literally killed his people. So <laughs> While he's yelling at Thor, uh, Bill just hits Thor in the head with Stormbreaker. <laughs> he's like, how could you still lift that hammer? Like, how could you still be worthy? And Thor's like, I'll show you how I can lift this fucking hammer. <laughs> <laughs> show so, you face how we can yeah, lift it. Yeah, so they fight, and you know, he like, he whips Mjolnir at Bill, and Bill just catches it right Aww. before it hits his face. And he's like, Bill, you gotta let it go, man, because can, nothing, can, nothing can stop me from bringing Mjolnir to my hand once I call it, and I'm right. calling it, it's gonna rip your fucking arm off. He's like, <laughs> And yet, like, and yet, brother, I'm still here. Like, I still got my arm. You're gonna, you you gotta see, rip my arm off. And you can see, like, the arm is actually, like, pulling. Ugh. He's like, I'm, I'm not gonna let go until you either explain yourself right. or you stop this mad quest with this fucking death bringer. And so Thor goes, well, if you're not gonna give me Mjolnir, I'll use another, and he calls Stormbreaker. Oh. And Bill's like, oh shit, you did not just touch my fucking enchanted hammer. This is my shit. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Remember when you held yep. on to my hammer? We're like both three worthy ago. of that shit, We're both man. touching each other's dicks here, okay? Yeah. Thor grabs Stormbreaker and he smashes Stormbreaker against Mjolnir, oh. annihilating Stormbreaker. Oh no. Dick move. Total wow. dick move. Now, whether it's known to Thor, I think Thor's whole thing is like, I'm all father now, I'm, I'm making these sacrifices of the greater good. You wouldn't fucking let go, man. 
Like he knows. You maybe do it. Yeah, he's destroyed this gift that was given to him in the heart of a dying star by Odin yeah. that will break the enchantment and allow him to look like a fucking person and get down with chicks without them throwing up in his mouth. So like, <laughs> now that's not happening. Here's he's the thing. just a horse monster. I don't care about the fact that you don't have a hammer. I care about the fact that now no one's no one gonna one bang you. Yeah. No one's gonna that's bang you. That's what you get. Bill. That's what you get for fighting me. I've robbed you. <laughs> I've, I've robbed you much worse of your hammer. Oh no, and literally like when when he, he makes Bill like Lord of Weapons and, and War in Asgard, like as a consequence. Mm. He's like, you fucking fought against me when nobody else would, and that's pretty dope. You're in charge of war. You're my Lord of War of Asgard now. And you have your pick of any weapon in Asgard. And he's like, I want Stormbreaker. <laughs> and he's like, I fucking broke that shit, man. You're gonna have to <laughs> well, pick something else. Well, that's a sale. You gotta move on, buddy. And he's like, and, and Odin ain't here no more, so like there ain't gonna be no more Stormbreakers. I mean, granted, I'm essentially Odin now, right. so I could just I could I probably be able to do that. make yeah. you a different hammer. If you can use freaking human and Moomin to talk to other people like a fucking <laughs> cell phone, then you should be able to enchant hammers, you dipshit. Hey, remember how we reforged Mjolnir? We could just <laughs> reforge Stormbreaker. Uh, Seriously, ah, oh, no, The swords are right here. It's different, it's <laughs> well, different. Well, we haven't read that book yet, man. That's a later book, Yeah. you know? Like, yeah. when I run out of other stuff to do, yeah, then, then I'll do that. Listen, Bill has been through so much shit. <laughs> <laughs> and so many different bodies that all resulted in him looking like a horse monster. Like, this should be old for he should be old news. He's right. like, all right, I don't know. I'll just scoop it up. Ah, oh, it's fuck off. <laughs> like, literally, I, I have watched Bill, like, die or, like, get his arms and legs ripped off. Like, it literally is one story where he faces against Galactus. He, he, he's like, I have nothing else to do. I guess I'll just go fucking kill Galactus. And he gets his arms and legs ripped off. And Galactus is like, what are you doing? <laughs> and Bill's like, fucking man, you killed everything. And Galactus is like, I'm sorry. Sorry, man, here's your arms and legs back. Like, <laughs> Bill's been through a lot, you know. So Bill and Thor are arguing, and he's like, "Come on, brother," and and Bill's like, "You're not my brother." That oh. hurts. Oh. Then the Rainbow Bridge, fucking Bifrost, blasts into them, and Sif is there, and she's like, "I am not gonna let you hurt this guy anymore." Like Thor, right. quit being a piece of shit. Right. Just tell him. Like, just tell him what's going you're, on. You're not your father. Like you're better than him. I thought he. I thought you were. Start acting like it, man. She then uses the Bifrost to teleport Mjolnir away. Oh. <laughs> He's like, where'd you send it? Can't like, he just call it back? Yeah, but it's yeah. like in another realm. It's gonna uh, take a while. It's gonna take a while. It's gonna take a while. So she's got some time to yell yeah, at it. Yeah, it's gonna she, break a lot of shit. <laughs> yeah, she sent it to Jotunheim. It lands in front of Loki's throne. <laughs> and Loki's like, uh, the fuck? <laughs> you throwing hammers at me now? No, it just lands. He's just like, oh, okay. Hmm. So they're yelling at each other and she's just like, you're supposed to be better than him. Loki walks up to Mjolnir, he's like, hmm. I gotta try. He picks it up. Oh. oh, what? And then Thor calls it. So it just yanks out of his hands and he's like, but now I know I'm, I'm worthy somehow. Is that I, the first time him. he's ever picked it up? Okay, so like there's, <laughs> it's the. So, no. For, as far as Donny Cates is concerned, yeah. Sure, okay. <laughs> yeah, did this blow your fucking mind? <laughs> That's exactly, whoa! Just blow your fucking mind. So. Galactus is like, I'm done watching you people complain and argue and fight. Hey, I, I have to get more. I gotta I kill like three, three planets, planets, planets at the time you guys been fighting. Yeah. Come on, I'll turn Ridiculous. this shit right around. I'll go get Silver Surfer. He was more than willing to help me. Here's okay. the thing. Cosmic Ghost Rider, he's way cooler looking than you. You guys are bickering and fighting. You're all going to die yeah. unless you help oh, me. Right. Oh, the universe was destroyed. Oh, Congra you missed Good it. job. All because you were, oh, oh you my brother. The Black Snow. Fuck you. <laughs> Uh, Sif is like, I'm taking Bill, and, uh, and you go you go do your quest. You want me to tell your subjects anything? He goes, no. When I'm victorious, I will return. I'll tell them myself. Jesus. Yeah. So then he <sighs> blasts Galactus with lightning, and he's like, don't you ever mouth off to me again. I didn't give you permission. <laughs> <laughs> and Galactus is like, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Can't Galactus this relinquish a... the power cosmic from him? Yes. Yeah, but he wants him for yes, some reason. But what, in, in, a, in an odd <laughs> turn of events, Thor's lightning sucked the power cosmic from Galactus. Oh. So what? now he's even more powerful than he was before. No, well the idea was that Galactus took the power cosmic from Thor when they were fighting Bill so that Bill and Thor could be evenly matched because otherwise Thor would have immediately annihilated Bill. Uh. Uh, so then Thor took the power cosmic back and remade him into the Herald of Thunder. I see. Now you can just switch it on and off like a fucking light switch. Sure. So then we just do, oh shit, the book's supposed to be over. So three 
planets are destroyed in two pages. Wow. Explaining well, and like, the same thing happens a couple more times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can't we can't make it sad all the time. So like there's a race of uh, you know there, there was one that was uninhabited. That was the Sorcerer Planet, and then there was ILX4, which is home to a massive herd of gentle bear-like animals that were gifted with the ability to like have telekinesis and shit. So they knew what was coming. So they were all ready to go because they knew the planet was gonna get destroyed. And so they all like. <laughs> <laughs> like Brett got, they're like, all right, send them the bifrost. We're all gonna go. So like yeah. these these gentle bear creatures all went to freaking uh, Asgard and waited their turn. That's awesome. Uh, so this is, a, gonna... this is a book about how Galactus consumes two planets. Oh, and here's another one. Barely mentions three others. Yes. Okay. Uh, there's yes, because here's the other one, and it's it's Cryo. Oh, that's clearly an evil planet. Look at it. No, it's just it's just it's just different. Looking. It's like xenomorphs. And yeah, shit. they're cool. No, they're, they're they look like like. You know, they're like, just the structures. Oh yes, that's true. Yeah. No. But uh, so they show up, and Thor's like, "Hey, man," because he's like basically doing the Silver Surfer thing. He's like, "Yo, what up?" This panel, this looks really cool. It like, is really cool. Just in the background, just waiting. Just like, I'm coming in. Well, he's like, "Oh, Ooh. you got like literally two seconds." Are you done? Are you done <laughs> telling them they're gonna die? <laughs> yeah. No, I'm trying to rescue them. Yeah. Ugh, oh, God. maybe Galactus will have a little taste. <laughs> every <laughs> oh, planet, every planet, we're gonna rescue these fucking people. That's, Jesus. That's literally it. Well, also God. like, do you, you remember fuck is your problem? How? You would just go to planets and wage war and kill them, right? Yeah, it's basically planet? the same thing. Yeah, well, I do it on a much bigger planet, and I do it a couple million times. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I feel like this whole thing is maybe like a test for Thor to right. like learn to sacrifice for the greater good. In any case, he shows up there. He's like, these people, you know, the people of Cryo, they were like, like, oh, Galactus is here. Let's get our shit together and try and amass one big fight to deal. And he's like, stop. He's gonna fuck you up. Get ready for your evacuation. And as he's explaining it, Galactus is just like, oh shit, I'm just so powerful! And they're like, he goes, hey man, knock it off! And he's like, no, Black Winter's here, he's found I was, me. I was pre-gaming oh. on the way over. Yes. I'm, a, I'm a little wasted right That's now. basically that. He's like, <laughs> oh, look, wings! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude, those aren't even fucking cooked yet! Ah, oh, too late. <laughs> the sauce is on them. <laughs> so the Black Winter is here, he's like, it's no time, I gotta eat this planet right now. And he's like, no, dude, but like, we, we, gotta, uh, we gotta summon the Bifrost. Nope. No time. Too late. In the time uh, it if took you him, summon the Bifrost while I'm eating a planet, I'm just going to eat your planet through the Bifrost. <laughs> it's like a straw. Yeah. Hey, you know the amount of time you spent fighting Beta Ray Bill? That was the amount of time that you needed to evacuate, to evacuate these people for the planet. So that's but on you, you. You didn't do it. You fought him instead, so now all these people have to die. That, Good job, Thor. He might as well say that. <laughs> that would like, be great. Literally, he, he's watching the planet get destroyed. The dude he was talking to just looks at Thor like, why did you do this? I Thor thought we were getting evacuated. Thor just goes, I'm sorry. And then the whole planet is destroyed. Oh. Uh, nah. Yeah, I know. So then uh, uh, Thor like ties a bandana around his eyes. What would be better right. is if he didn't want to see the black winter. <laughs> yeah. He'd be like, I don't want to see that, how I die. I think that's exactly what it is. I think it's like, because oh, it'll distract you from your battle. Right. Like from, from, what you're, from your purpose. Because otherwise you'll see how you die. Yeah. And it's probably going to be from black winter because you're fighting him. <laughs> uh, but yeah. So uh, he ties his bandana around his eyes to, you know, Shield himself from the from the true horrors of his own death, and he whips up and he's like, "Listen, Galactus, like when this is over, I'm gonna fucking kill you." And Galactus is like, "Yeah, we'll see what happens." Yeah, sure. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay. Yeah, so the Black Widow shows up. That's a cool drawing, right? Yeah, that's a cool drawing. Yeah, because it's supposed to be it's able to destroy universes. What is what is it gonna look like? And yeah. it looks like whatever it's gonna kill you. So yeah, it looks like a big cloud thing. It looks like Galactus from the fucking movies. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, which everyone hated, but now is cool because Donny Cates wrote it. So, well, because it's not Galactus now, so no, it can look all. It's weird. not Galactus. Yeah, because yeah. that's not Galactus. Right. right. So right. it's not wrong. No. <laughs> so uh, Sif is hanging out with Bill. We're just checking in on Asgard. She's like losing her faith in Thor, and mm. Bill isn't. He's like, if Thor is this determined, like you know, Thor's my brother. I know he told him he wasn't, but I was yeah. just trying to shake his confidence. Now that I know what's going on. Look, yeah, I was just <laughs> now that I know. He broke my toy. Well, I, yeah. he's he's and he'll be pissed forever. But like for now, he's just like, I mean, he like I get it. Yeah. You know? So, you know, it's like, I, I have to yeah, believe he, in him. He, he could have stopped for like a second to just tell me, yeah. and then that, uh, he wouldn't have had to destroy my hammer, but you know. <laughs> exactly. Like, you know, he's, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta take the good with the bad. Right, friends you know, with Thor. Weigh the pros and cons. Yeah. So, uh, you know, they, they, they face him, uh, the Black Winter that is, the Black Winter like envelops the Galactus, uh, and he's like, hey, it's, Gal it's Galen, man. What are you I doing here? You. Yeah. So, uh, you know, he absorbs both Galactus and Thor. Thor is now like within the Black Winter in an Escher painting, which what? is by the way spectacular looking. But uh, basically, he just says like, "Hey man, like, y y you know, to face the Black Winter is not really like you're not fighting like a bad guy. You're fighting like <sighs> you're fighting like 
everything and right. yourself and like everything that's ever killed you. It's so more like a state of mind yeah. or yeah. So he's like in the mindscape, but he shows and and he he appears as Gore the God Butcher, hmm. who is a, a villain that I think is going to be in Thor four and also is like just the the greatest villain that Thor's ever faced in the modern era, thanks to Jason Aaron. So mm -hmm. okay, we we'll won't get into him, but it's just like it's cool to see Gore the God Butcher here. The Black Winter is showing him all the ways that Thor can and probably will die. Loki is your death. Uh, Mangog, because Mangog was like a character that like actually is a yeah, classic. We talked about we talked about Mangog when Thor yeah. fought Thanos, but uh, they also resurrect. They brought him back and used him again. But uh, to, to greater effect, I think. But in any case, like, look at the, these, this is how you die. And he shows, like, all these different characters, like Surtur and Mephisto. Hey, and Enchantress is there. Enchantress, uh, Apocalypse. Dr. Doom, Dr. Doom Apoc yeah, uh, Annihilus. Like, these are characters that all could kill Thor in any given Thor story. Right. These are the characters powerful enough to maybe kill Thor. Yes. He says, this is how you die. And, like, I, I remember this, pa this page being revealed before the issue was revealed. And people were like, so is how Thor is going to die a massive team up with all these villains. And I'm like, no, Fucking Loki's no, not going to ride Mangog and <laughs> fight alongside Apocalypse to kill Thor. These are all the ways, the characters that could kill Thor. Who so, the fuck is this? That's a nihilist. Oh. So uh, Thor, like, just greets it head on because he's a badass and he's just like, yeah. Well, that's what Vikings do. Yeah, right? you're also not really you, so. Yeah. I, I could probably defeat you. Exactly. <laughs> so while, uh, you know, Thor, like, battles them and he, he kicks their ass, he blasts them with lightning and then uh, basically frees himself from the fever dream that he was uh, mm. in under the thrall of the Black Winter. And oh, he's, he's no longer wearing the uh, bandana over No, he's not. No, they got like torn off of him. So he says, are you still with me, Galactus? And Galactus goes, until it's done. Hmm. So they face the Black Winter. The Black Winter's like, okay, like, let's do this. Oh, Did we're gonna fight? You're gonna, you're, like, the, my, my going in your mind and showing right. all the things? Oh, that didn't work? That didn't okay. Work? Okay, well, let me, let, me take, let me take physical form. Did Galactus Why also do, do that? that? Just destroy to, the universe, man. Yeah, he must have. He had his own there. adventure in the mindscape <laughs> where he fought his greatest villains. Yeah. And, yeah. He must. <laughs> he fought like Reed, Reed Richards, Richards. <laughs> the ultimate nullifier. Just showing him the little up. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh god! No, no! I can running. beat you this time. Yeah. So the Black Widow takes a form, and what's the form? It's it's Thor. What? Like he 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 becomes a Thor, like a mirror image of Thor. But he says, "I'll show you the end, Thor, but not your end." And takes the form of Thor because he knows. That's why Galactus saw Thor. Yes. He saw. Well, the... that's why he saw Thor. Yeah, that's the implication. When he looked at. And yeah. Black Widow knows. That that's what Galactus saw. Oh, because that's he shows you what you right. are gonna die from. Well, so. it's also funny because he takes the the form of uh, like the, the Herald of Thunder. Thor. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Like so. you made your own destruction. Exactly. Yeah. So before they uh, they 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 uh, they throw hands, uh, they're, they're, they 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 talk for a few minutes, and uh, Black Winter goes, "I didn't come here to kill your universe, dude." I, I was just on vacation. I'm just chilling no, here. No, I came you got to this a nice universe. universe. I came to this universe to get my herald back. Galactus is the herald of the Black Widow. No, oh, that's stupid. <laughs> hey, welcome yeah. to being everyone who read this comic. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, for Black Winter, he's also a herald for some other <laughs> archaic right? ancient thing. Yeah, because so it's a fucking you can't Russian pull that doll. thread no. and be like, no, but it stops there. It stops no, there. You, right. You just said no, it doesn't I multiverses. stop there. Yeah. Ah, Jesus. Okay. So uh, that, that's the big reveal. So so uh, Galen yeah. Galactus went rogue. Yeah. After one of their adventures. Adventures, yeah. much like, like Silver Surfer you know, went yes. rogue. So it's like poetry. It rhymes. Instead yeah, of. Really Instead of doing the heralding, I'm gonna try eating yeah. for once. Yeah, I'm well, gonna see what I'm this gonna whole be the consumer. Thing is about. Yeah, like what? What? You didn't learn anything? Nah. Well, also. No, but I'm gonna eat small, smaller yeah, amounts. I'm, gonna go I'm not gonna eat a whole universe. I'm just well, eating little, little, little pieces of a universe. Well, remember, there's so much left in the yeah, universe. Yeah. Like a, the there's like with trillions the of other planets. I've eaten like three. It sucks so much. <laughs> also, in Silver Surfer Black, like we see, Silver Surfer goes back to the formation of Galactus and see Galen become Galactus, and it's nothing like this. And Donny Cates wrote both those stories and within the past like two years. So it's like, no. So, you know, it's just, that's just so lame. Anyway, so Silver Surfer goes to the Great Halls to speak with Thor because we're gonna jump ahead in time. Uh, Thor didn't die at the end of the story. And so the Silver Surfer goes to, to Thor and he's just, he's just sitting we're on the throne. We're jumping ahead? Yeah, we're gonna jump into the end of the story. 
What happened? Well, we'll, we'll have to go back. he reclaimed. Uh... I. Mm. We'll have to go back. That's but for so now, irritating. you know, Thor is just—he's just drinking himself into a stupor. He's all alone. No one's seen him or talked to him since he's since his harrowing and ordeal with yeah. Galactus. They're like, and what like, happened, man? What happened? He's just like, I don't know. What I'm yeah, literally that. And then he's just, just keep him coming. Drink, drink, drink. <laughs> and so Silver Surfer's like, hey, man. The fuck, like. The, the the cosmos is talking about the thunder that cracked through the universe and like it it frightened children and destroyed like you know fair eared sentient beings it, whatever it's just like it, there was some crazy ass noise that came from the cosmos and it had to be you what happened where's and I, I when I came here I saw what the fuck you did so like explain yourself mm. and Thor's like mm, okay so then let's we come go back. back let's go back. To the like literal end of the last issue. Okay. All right. So now, so, now the Black Winter is going to explain to us why it is true. No, he just. Oh no. No. Uh, he he like hangs out for a minute because he's like, you know, he's here to collect. Uh, yeah. Galactus and Thor's like, so. Take him. <laughs> you you took all that power not to kill, like not to save the universe, but, but to save your ass. Yeah. So you wouldn't have to go back like, and be a herald. Yeah. Again. Like you didn't want to go back and deal with him. Wait, Galactus. Doesn't think that it's true. Well, but Thor is like, uh, yeah. That sounds like bullshit. That, that sounds, sounds like, like you were lying to me, and you're lying right now. Right. And like, you actually maybe saving face to yeah. like, you know, in front of his. Like, new no, hero. no, Thor. I swear, I didn't. No, that's not true. He's making that up. Yeah. I didn't kill that planet just to save myself. Yeah. Or uh, all those planets. No, uh, Black Winter, you're lying. Yeah. She's yeah. totally lying. <laughs> right. Who are you gonna Who are you gonna trust, Thor? You gonna trust this Black Winter who's not even from our fucking universe? He's like trust new me? and shit. Never gonna trust me. I've been around since 1960. Oh, come on. I gave you your power cosmic. Come on. Yeah. Come on, we're bros. <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> yeah, we're, 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 we're cosmic bros. Uh, so we're having Thor fight Galactus for a third time in That's this right. story. Yeah. Thor, like, fights Galactus, and in his new, like, Herald of Thunder form and his newfound power, I guess because he's an all-father too. Right. Uh, he takes the power that they amassed from those five planets, and he takes it away from Galactus and imbues it into himself. Oh. He's like, I took it from you. And Galactus is like, but we have to defeat the Black Winter. Like, you need me. And Thor's like, no, I'll deal with it. I don't need you. Hmm. So. Fair. Uh, He's got all the power. Yeah. Somehow. Yeah, right? but you're not Galactus. No. Yeah, but I have his ability. But I have your power so, now. I have all yeah. the power that we took from those five yeah. planets in me. Yeah, do you know how to use it? Well, let's see. Well, so he uses blam. it to kill Galactus. He says, oh. for, for everyone. He says, like, he names all the planets. He says, for Zenla, for Earth, for, uh, for Asgard. I have had enough of, of you. you. And he just, he, wow. he, he slays Galactus in an epic two-page splash that is cool and also wholly insulting and terrible. <laughs> Yeah, so he kills Galactus. So Galactus Thor, is fucking dead. Thor slaughters Galactus. Galactus, in, in his death throes, says, you have no idea what you've done. And this doesn't make the Black Winter be like, the hell? This well, we're my gonna, herald. We're gonna, I Winter, came here for my herald. We're going to see what he has to say. Black Winter like shows up and he's like, shit to say. It was nice. Way to go, man. That's pretty cool. Hey, yeah, well, you, you killed that fucking asshole. You killed Good him. That was, what, that was what I was going to do to him. But, you know, all right. I thought you wanted it back. No, I, I came here to get it. Yeah. Oh, oh, get him. Yeah. Not collect him. Well, I, 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 Here's the thing. I, I can came, say get him, and it can mean many things thing. until I decide what it does. If I said I came here to kill him, then you wouldn't have had the big last page reveal of me saying he was my herald. <laughs> See. So, uh, yeah. He goes, yeah. well, uh, I, I'm still taking him. He's, he's mine, so I'm going to collect him. And Thor's like, no, you can't have him. He's mine. I killed him. You keep what you kill. What do you want with what? his body? What? Yeah, you'll see. Okay. So, uh, he says, what, what are you, you going to do with it? What, what, what do you want with Galactus? You, <laughs> what are you going to do with that Galactus husk? That's right. That's right. He goes, what are you going to turn it into? Like a trophy? He goes, no, I'm going to turn it into a bomb. And so he like blasts Galactus with energy and like uh, it just all explodes. So he sends Galactus into the black... Winter, Winter yes. as a and then as shoots a the power and into shoots him. Shoots the power, yeah. He blow him up. basically because like what Galactus would have done, I just used Galactus as like a meat puppet right. to like shoot <laughs> the power he absorbed with right. my Odin energy. You see, I knew that Galactus was gonna hold back some of that power right. for himself. Or I just so wanted I to fucking Odin. kill Galactus. So this is two birds with one stone. Bingo. So he blew up Black Winter, and then like Galactus's helmet is just lying there. There's a big crater. I guess on a planet, uh, fucking whatever. But they were in the dead of space, but whatever. So then uh, a, a single snowflake, a black snowflake, 
just oh. falls. That's all that's left. It's all that's left. That's all that's left. And uh, it, it, and it, and it speaks to him, and it says, "You have won nothing, but before I go, would you like to see how you die?" <laughs> and it lands on his hand, and he says, "Yes." Oh. And he, and he crushes it in his hands. And then his eyes go black and he like weeps. And fucking, then you see that he took Galactus' helmet and he like puts it in front of the world tree as like an entrance to the Bifrost. So it's like everybody can see when they arrive in Asgard. I killed Galactus. I killed Galactus. You're welcome. Take me seriously. Isn't Galactus like a maintainer yeah. of like balance or yeah. some shit? Yeah, yeah Reed would have something to say about this. Yeah. Silver Surfer is just like, wow. Uh, cool. What did you see when Black Winter showed you your death? Oh, I didn't touch that snowflake. Yeah, no. <laughs> you told you that Black Snowflake come down. You're like, no, no, I'm not touching. Yeah, no, he did. He 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 looks like crazy eyes at Silver Surfer, and then you see what Donny Cates is planning in the future for Thor. And what we see is Thanos, Thanos wins, uh, wielding the Infinity Hammer. <laughs> which is Mjolnir with infinity gems crammed into it, yep. wielding a big nebulous black glove. He's it, gotta have a gauntlet It's not established yet, so this is yet another totemic device that Donny Cates will establish in another book. This is a new infinity stone on the back of his arm. It's oh, the black stone. Yeah, sure. it's the continuity stone. It could be whatever you want it to be. I don't know, but yeah, it's whatever. Uh, but he is leading an army of Marvel zombies. And, and so Thor will die at the hands of Thanos wielding some shit. If he's got all the Infinity Stones in the Infinity Hammer, why doesn't he just erase half the universe <laughs> like he did the first time? Uh, why does he need an army of zombies? No, I already did that. Because he changed you, his plan? You, you brought him back. Because of what happens in Thanos Wins. Ah. Uh. Which, uh... Is that after this? Before this? I think it's before this. Okay. But, uh, yeah, it's before this. But th that would explain why he is no longer interested in snapping away half the universe. Exactly. Instead, he wants He's to like, lead it on his He only did the snap to prove a point. Yeah. That, it, was, it, was, it was a footnote in the Infinity Gauntlet. <laughs> like, he does it as, like, a gesture to death. Well, it was, like, death. the whole reason yeah, that he wanted like, it in the first no, place, though. No, it was not. Hair. No, it wasn't. No? No, that was... He, no, no, he, he he's, wanted he's to, showing his power. Oh. He wanted to prove that he's worthy of death. Yeah, he wanted to... Sh he, he was a, it was a gesture for death. I see. His actual plan was to make an army of zombies. No, well, his actual plan was <laughs> to fuck death, but, like, barring that, he'll make an army of fucking no, Marvel zombies. No, he's got a new plan that still involves the Infinity Stones. Well, it ha his plans normally don't involve the Infinity Gems uh. at all. I also gems, noticed that, by sorry. the way, they're gems again. And I was like, thank you. Uh, <laughs> if anyone can fix the Infinity Stones and their bullshit, complicated, like, human centipede nonsense, <laughs> it's Donny Cates because, True. like... He'll just he, say, like, it's not like that. It's like this. It's yeah. like it was. Yeah, because, like, yeah. he has an editor. It's Will Moss. But, like, I'm sure Will just lets him do whatever he fucking wants. Well, he just let him fucking kill... He let Thor kill Galactus. So, yeah, yeah he so, lets like, him do whatever yeah, he there wants. Is no, so there's no editor, is what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, no, there's an editor. It's called Donny fucking Cates. That's right, motherfucker. Yeah. So, and uh, Galactus isn't fucking dead. I mean, he's gonna, like, come back or whatever. Yeah. So who fucking cares? Yeah, but yeah, ex look, whatever, okay? That's right. my answer to that. It's comics. You can do whatever you want. They're stupid anyway. Nothing matters. <laughs> Why are you even reading this? Jeez. I was actually reading a, an interview with... Uh, Let's see, which creator was it? Uh, it, it it'll, it'll come to me, but like there was a creator who was talking about comics. It was Donnie fucking Cates. <laughs> <laughs> oh, perfect. And ah. He was talking about how uh, like comics are this like mystical, magical thing, but like once you write for them, the magic is gone. And like at like best it becomes, I wonder what like my friend Chip Zdarsky is gonna do with Daredevil. But it's not like I wonder what's gonna happen to Peter Parker because like my friend Nick Spencer's writing like Spider Man, so I know exactly what's <laughs> right. gonna happen. To I know him. there's just a fucking dude writing it. Right, and it's like it's my friend, so it's like it's like cool. Like I feel good about Spider Man because my friend is writing it, not because like there's a magic around this character. Right, and, and it's like that's that's horrible. Yeah, that is that is really horrible <laughs> because I wouldn't like be, and that's like why there's no editors because like that's printed, like in a book. Right, like in the last issue of this run. That's Kate's talking about like the de the demystification and the like lack of magic of comic books when you work for them, and I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> like, don't watch. say that. Watch, I just killed Galactus and made him a fucking doorway, <laughs> and you ate it up, lol. Yeah, but 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 you know about that, so why don't you like try to like fight it? 
Why would I do that when I'm because like, the, writing all my shit? Because there is no more magic. Yeah, I'm yeah. writing the comic. Yeah, but but it was important to you that there was at yeah. one point. Yeah. So why would you take that away from everybody? <laughs> because because it's not important to me anymore. Because the uh, only way it's going to be important to you if you see all this magic right. is if I do crazy shit. I guess right. he would say well, that. Now well, my magic. Now it's my magic. He would, like, he, he would probably say, like, Stan Lee didn't fucking think there was any magic to it either. No. Like, that's what we all think, well, and it he turns out. But yeah. yeah. Which is fair, I guess. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, and if you were me, you would do the same thing. Right. Uh, no. <laughs> Fine. This is a drawing that someone has on a DeviantArt page. Right. And now it's in this book. And now it's real. Yeah, and <laughs> then there's gonna be like infinity gems on uh, Captain America's shield. Yeah. And there's gonna be infinity gems uh, in Hulk's skin. Right, yeah, he jammed him into his fist. It's just his strength oh, is the yeah. gauntlet. My fucking flesh is the gauntlet. Yeah, Infinity yeah. Hulk. That's, hey, Donny Cates is writing Hulk right now. There you go, Infinity Hulk. She's like, yeah. Okay, uh, we all know the maestro would do that. Yes, dude. Yeah. Well, he's got the time gem in there, so it's like he, uh, and like the maestro, like did the same thing in his time. So they like merge versions, like from that time to this time. Yeah. The maestro's yeah. like reality. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Anyway, <laughs> enough bad ideas for one night. Thanks a lot for watching. Oh, uh, oh yeah, how does it? Uh, Thor doesn't tell him because I saw I saw nothing but darkness. I mean, th <sighs> okay. <laughs> so like the problem with that is like that panel yeah. of the zombies being led by uh, Thanos? Thanos. Like we've seen way worse shit than that. Yeah. So like him being like, oh, it's, it's just too horrible. Like, yeah. It's no, like, no, like that's like normal. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not concerned about Thanos wielding the Infinity Hammer. <laughs> because he's just gonna defeat himself again in the end, no. like he always does. Uh, I mean, like, Donny Cates also has reestablished Thanos. Like, he wrote his own Thanos story. And we'll talk about that someday, and maybe how that, like, changes things up for that character. It's yeah. a whole thing. It's actually kind of fun. It's like, that's the problem, is like, they're all kind of fun. Yeah, like, they're all it's, cool. it's definitely a fun book. And the art's great, and the stories yeah, are fantastic. cool. The, this was beautiful to see. Yeah, it was great. Yeah. It was, it's epic, and he, you know, he, the guy wrote fucking God Country, so like, obviously he has something to say yeah. about like mythologies and gods. I get it. And it's like, he's, he's doing Thor, you're not gonna not. You know, go for it. Yeah. But he also just killed Galactus. Yeah. Like, yeah, uh, he like just died. And it's just like, for me. Well, he also fought a being who consumes universes. Yes. And he's like, and I saw Thanos, and he had all the stones, and these zombies were with yeah. him. Oh, yeah. okay, but like you literally saw a being that was gonna cons that had consumed many other universes, yeah. and you fought him and just defeated him. Yeah. So like, why are we really worried about Thanos? Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have another Galactus to throw at him. Yeah. Okay, right. but no, he's but dead now. Like. Yeah, uh, so like I'm sure you'll find a way, right? Or like, someone will. Yeah, yeah. Like the, all of that is really cool <laughs> up until like Thanos wielding a cosplay item. Right. Like, no, but you don't understand. Like the zombies were the Avengers. They were my friends. Yeah. Okay. Okay, but that's like one planet. They're, they it's like <laughs> okay, get the hammer back and like god of, like turn nine them back, realms. I guess. Use like, the Bifrost and teleport them back to their reality or into the sun. I don't know, man. Yeah. I mean, like they, these are the Marvel zombies. The scary ones are the Marvel zombies that also ate Galactus and became. <laughs> Power cosmic infused sentient zombies. That's scary. <laughs> zombie venom isn't scary. Is the symbiote a zombie? <laughs> is it just the body underneath? We've Who seen that happen. Zombie? Where why like, would the symbiote let him do corpses? that? Is the zombie virus transferable to symbiotes? Do they have right. blood? I don't think so. Yeah. Although you're Donny Cates and you wrote Venom and, cre and created the King of Black, so only you could know. Right. I mean, to me, as a reader, it's horrifying because these are all my favorite characters. <laughs> but Thor, you're like the god of like. Right. Like trillions of beings. Yeah. Like these are just a few people yeah. that you do know and work with. Right. You know, but like, I don't know, but these are my friends. No, it's too horrible. Other, like there's other like stories. Spider-Man, look, Spider-Man. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> yeah, Thor and Spider-Man have had at least four times like <laughs> they've ever interacted with each other. Uh, I don't know. It's it's, it's just yeah. a little it's just a little weird. It's a little After weird. everything he's been through yeah, for, that for that thing to be like. To be like mic drop. Yeah. Uh, is that, is, uh, okay. And I think the, the Infinity Hammer is just such a silly idea. <laughs> Like, I, I, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a universe where I was like, you killed Galactus and he's important, like, why'd you do that? It's like, yeah, jamming the Infinity Gems into a fucking hammer. I'm like, I mean, you no, know. No, but that's my hammer. Yeah, right. He took the hammer it. away from me and put the Infinity Gems in it. Yeah. Right, how's he, it's how's, a double whammy. How's he worthy, though? Is this right? How could he be? Yeah.
All Find right. out I mean, in the next yeah. adventure. Okay. I guess. Well, here's the thing. I, I took the reality gem and I just shoved it onto Mjolnir in the first place. <laughs> saying now that I'm, I'm worthy. Yeah. yeah, and so and there you now go. Now I'm worthy. Yeah, the Mjolnir has been worthy of worse. Like, I remember when, like, Steve Rogers, who's evil because of time travel, wields Mjolnir. <laughs> and he didn't need a single infinity gem to do it. You know, and it's All like, right. okay, yeah, but if you're going to measure my story against the thousands of other stories that have come before it, then obviously you're going to find something silly to find about it, okay? Right. It's like, yeah, but, like, you're using those characters. <laughs> yeah. Like, you're playing in the sandbox. That's what happens. Yeah. No, Deal but nothing it. matters until I write it. Yes. Well, that's true, because the magic is gone. Because there's no, there's, there's no, you know, there's no mystery or fun. It's just, it's just a paycheck. <laughs> Anyway, there you go. Ah. Yeah. It's in the comments below if you want to pick up a copy. It's available uh, through our, you know, Amazon or whatever. But otherwise, uh, if you want more, there's plenty more. I just showed you a couple more. I mean, what happened to the World Tree? Is the World Tree still? Oh yeah, sick? wasn't the World Tree dying or yeah, whatever? Yeah, no, you have to keep reading more Donny Cates' uh, Thor to find out. Part of there's the two more volumes of this. Arc. Okay. I don't want to do any more of them though. Oh okay. Yeah, you know, this is a means to an end. I wanted to talk about Beta Ray Bill. <laughs> I love that fucking Galactus dies and a being that is. Bigger than Galactus also dies. Also dies. Well, that way this, we don't have to the worry start about it anymore. Of Thor's adventure. <laughs> yeah. I'm Where sorry. can we go from here? Fuck you. Well, that's nobody. Like that's a shitty way to kill Galactus. I, I agree. Yeah. That's like pretty uncool. I agree. I, except, I, I think there it's are going to be people out there being like, no, you use Galactus to kill an even bigger bad guy. That's like a sacrificial death. That's I mean, like great. It's, it's like an honor. It is cool, but as just part of like a random Thor story, yeah. it's kind of lame. Right. <laughs> Remember when I created this villain? Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to kill him off now. Yeah. Yeah. Like, meanwhile, you spent how many years building the King in Black, who is so lame? Yeah. He's not lame. He, cool, he wields a cool sword. Other characters wielded that same sword. Yeah, I just, I think maybe you should have gotten a little more mileage out of the Black, out of the, Winter out of the Black character Winter. that you just yeah, created. Yeah. Oh. The only thing that he doesn't do in this story is also turn into a sword. What, what should we do next? Let us know in the comments. Otherwise, we'll see you guys next time with another episode. I'm Sal. I'm Ethan. I'm Ben. So long. Keep reading. <laughs> It started yeah. off so it's, it's, optimistic. It's epic yeah. and dope, but also yeah. like, oh, damn it. Oh, that's so cool, but like, no, but like, wait, you've actually killed? Yeah.